Okay, number one thing, the fan's on again. I hope that you can hear me pretty well regardless. It's just way too hot in here to not have it on. And this is where I'm at, and this is where I'm filming right now. Uh, other thing, this is going to be a weird rant. Uh, I could easily save this for a conversation, but I have one of those banked right now, and this still feels ranty to me. I, I don't know. I, I don't understand why there's such a huge stigma around the concept of, or just the word use, to use another person. Every time that's said, I feel like it's said in a negative context. And I feel like that's silly, and, and I don't understand why it has to be that way, because I don't feel like it does have to be that way. Um, part of it is because maybe I'm a person who also objectifies other people, but also I think that people and humans are nuanced, and they have different uses for different things, for different people. I use myself, I use other people, I use other, like inanimate objects, I use nature, I use spiritual, like, the word use, I mean, that's, that's, it's so, it means so much, or can, but I mean, just like, the way that people use it about other people, like, oh yeah, he used me, or like, that person, that person, is, I think, is using you, and it's like, yeah, we're all using each other, that's what human interaction is pretty much all about. One, I don't believe, um, I, I don't believe that we, we do anything that's not in our own best interests. Um, that word is escaping me right now. I'm like, my, is this my old age? I feel like this happens more and more and more. Also because I'm not planning these things very much in advance. Um, oh, the word is right there. Tip of my brain. Altruism. I don't believe in altruism, so maybe that's a part of it. Um, I believe that we, we all do things to advance... Our, ourselves, um, even if you're going out of your way and you're sacrificing something, it's because there's something else that you're getting out of it, right? Like maybe you're, you're feel, you feel good because you sacrificed money, or maybe you feel good because you sacrificed your time and you've given someone a service. Either way, you are getting something out of that exchange. Um, and that's the thing that you are using somebody and somebody is using you in almost every exchange or relationship or interaction that happens. And I just, I don't know, it's just, I have a weird thing about language, I guess, right? Because, like, I feel like it's really, really, really important. I don't like when someone says, oh, you know what I mean. It's like, no, I don't know what you mean. I know what you're saying. And what you're saying and what you mean, they're sometimes two different things. That could be a whole other rant in itself sometime. Uh, <laughs> because some people are just like, well, I don't think language is that important or whatever. I'm like, okay, this is how we're communicating. We're choosing this format right here with these words and this whatever dialect and so on to to communicate and we're the whole reason you're communicating with me is because you want to get a message across and you want me to understand it so yes your language and your diction is important i'm not perfect i've acknowledged that many times uh, i just think it's important so i try to keep that in mind so that's why sometimes words and like semantics and things bother me in their usage uh just because i'm like why why is this such a bad thing to be used um, like I said, I, I use people and people use me and sometimes if we're both using each other simultaneously that could be called sharing a moment. Like, you know what I mean? It's like I use my friends to enlighten me um, to as a sounding board uh, to have fun with, to relieve my anxiety, to whatever, right? Like, I am a willing participant in a lot of engagements that I, that I am involved in because I think I'm going to get something good out of it. And sometimes when something really bad happens out of it that's just what you deal with um and i mean if it happens over and over and over again you stop you stop using that person maybe because you're not getting the results you want right um i mean i think people are a tool i think that that objects are tools right like we use a a, a, a tool to aid us in whatever our objective is and i think people are that thing too i think that like you know i, I know that the context that's being said and is usually like that person used me and what's implied is that I didn't get anything out of that exchange. Why are you so surprised? <laughs> like, you're doing what you're doing out of your best interest, and so is that person. So the only thing is that, like, this might be that whole that whole thing about me being, like, pessimistic or, like, not trusting people or just recognizing and... Re it's not like I don't feel pain and I don't get hurt because I, I trust people, and when they betray me, that really sucks. But in some ways, it's again, what, what is the expectation? The expectation is that everyone's doing what they think is best for them at that moment. Some people's thing about what's best for them ends up screwing over everyone around them. 
right? And that's, I don't know, you try to read people as best you can and engage with people that will use you in a way that, that benefits you too. Does that make sense? Um, I, I just, you know, like, it's just someone, you know, apologize saying like, oh, I, I think that, um, oh, sorry if that sounds bad, it sounds like I'm using you. And I'm like, you are. <laughs> you are using me, and I'm using you, and I'm using myself, and, and you're using yourself. Like, like, it's just like, I don't, there's nothing wrong with it. Inherently, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, misrepresenting yourself and, and lying and deceiving someone and using them like that, I think is what a lot of people think of when they're like, oh, that person used me. But sometimes you have an exchange with someone where you don't, there's no, there's no, uh, pretext for how things should go and someone just has an unrealistic expectation and I think the expectation is that people are not good people or bad people maybe the expectation just is that people are people and all people are wanting to do what is best what they feel is best for them in that moment and people are going to get burned along the way and for better or for worse or what have you like I don't, I don't know it's part of it is maybe really cynical uh, and, and I, I'm, I, I don't know, I, I just acknowledge it, and maybe it's because I'm in a position where I do that a lot, maybe more than other people, everyone has lines and, and certain things, right, like, I'm just saying that we all do it, we all do it, just some people do it more than others, and in different ways than others, and, and, but the expectation is that everyone does it, that we all use people, we use our friends, we use strangers, we, you know what I mean, like, and there's, there's, benefit to that like if you're using people the right way if you're using people again as like a tool it's like ha having you know we surround ourselves with like the people that we pick and choose like we we use them for what we need in those moments right like i don't know if someone's not benefiting you then you don't you shouldn't be you're not going to them and using them to help you because they're not going to help you i don't know i feel like this is more off the rails than normal i just um I don't know, again, it's just a language thing, I think, but, like, it's it's the stigma around using people, like, yeah, like, I, and again, the thing about, people are not just objects, put it that way, because what is defining an object versus what is defining a human person, I think that there's, you know, there, there's a lot of, um, I, I don't know, like, it's just the fact that, yeah, we have, whatever we have, that, that makes us a consciousness, I guess, if that's what I want to strip it down to one word, the consciousness that we have, and we have feelings and emotions and all that stuff, that, um, that, that makes us different than, than, than this. Like, I could use this to create amazing things. Again, I'm using it as a tool. When we talk about using objects, we often think of it as a, as a positive thing, right? Like, you know, it's like I used it to do something I wanted to do. I think in every, what, I'm trying to think of what aspect could I use a tool, use a, an object that wouldn't be good because I am choosing to use it for something that will aid me, right? It's like, or I think that I'm aiding myself in the pro, I'm, I'm using it, I'm bending that thing to my will. And I think that that's where things get messed up when you, when you talk about using people because you're like, oh, you're using that person to your advantage. And it's like, but that's, that's what we do. Like, that's... If we talk about how animals that are not human, it's all just reacting to stimuli. There's, it's, like, programmed information. The consciousness isn't really there. It's between, like, an, an inanimate object and, and us. And that there's just reacting to stimuli and there's pre-programmed uh, uh, responses, basically, is how I would word that. Whether it's plants or whether it's animals. And there's a life cycle. And I think that's part of part of, I don't know, like our, our, our life cycle, I guess. And again, everyone is so different and nuanced and, and whatever else and has their own thoughts and feelings and individual personalities and histories and experiences and all this stuff, different, you know, um, cognitive abilities, like different, different things in their soul or their heart or whatever, right? Like it's, but, but the thing is that again, we just use, we use each other to, to our own benefit. I think that there's something worth acknowledging there. Like, like it's just so, like, it's not a dirty word to, like, it's, I think I've been socialized as much as a lot of people that are watching this have been socialized to be like, that's bad. Like, it is weird if someone's like, I'm using you to do that. Like, you don't need to say it. Like, I, I acknowledge it though. I'm like, yeah, you're using me. I'm using you. Like, in whatever that context is, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, 
I don't know. It's like asking someone for help. It's like, yeah, I'm using you right now to help me. I am using your, like, whatever. It's just like your, your partner could be, like, extra tall or taller than you. And you're like, can you get that off the shelf? Yeah, you're using them as a tool to get the thing off the shelf. Sometimes you're using someone for emotional support. You know, it, it's like if you have, a, a like, a an emotional support dog or animal of some nature. You do that with humans, too. You know, they, they, you can use a human being to fulfill something that, 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 that other things can't. Like, like sometimes drugs and, and whatever substances and things like that that you have complete control over aren't going to, um, aren't going to be fulfilling enough. And you need maybe a certain human interaction to fulfill whatever your need is at that moment. I don't know. Anyway, I feel like this could just go and expand, and usually I don't want to cut things off before they do. I also just don't know where else to go with it right now um, that's going to make any sense, because I think I'm in that mode where I'm going to start talking, and maybe I'll get some gold out of that uh, if I haven't already, but but it might take a while to get there, me just stammering and uh, droning on like I am now. Uh, again, I just, I think that there's, it's worth acknowledging the fact that we use each other uh, all the time that there's there doesn't need to be a certain negativity around just that usage of that word or that thought of being like oh I think they're using me or like they're using me just for this and it's like okay well then don't don't allow them to I, I don't know what to tell you like do what you can to, to not allow someone to to use you to their benefit like it doesn't have to be just this this um, sinister thing you know it, it doesn't have to be that way it can be a beautiful thing like i said you can share a moment with someone because you both need the same thing at the same time and you're using each other to get to to that end whatever that is for that moment that can be a beautiful thing 